Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus and today I will show you how you can record a screen on this phone. Now to get started you want to pull down your notifications. So I'm done once more to extend the list of toggles and one of the toggles should be called screen recorder. For me it's right here in the corner. Now once you locate yours, you can either tap on it to start recording immediately or you can hold it and this will take you to the settings where you can customize how it's set. So there is not very many options actually, as you can see we have sound, video quality, selfie size, uh, show tops and touches and or where you can save it. Uh, the most important one will be the video quality but if I'm correct this is the highest one and yes it is so 1080p is the highest one which is also what I would consider a sweet spot and wouldn't recommend changing it. Now in terms of sound it's really preferential so uh, by default set to record media sound which means whatever the phone will be making whatever sounds the phone will be making that's what's going to be recorded but it can change it to also record a mic on top of that. If you choose the last one the mic and media i would recommend using some kind of headphones earbuds or anything like that just so uh just so when you're recording it it won't have that annoying echo effect where the microphone is picking up the sound of the phone so the sound that the phone makes is already being recorded internally and then it comes out through the speaker and microphone picks it up again obviously you do not want that and also you can select it to not record any kind of sound now I'll enable the show tops and touches just so you can see how that looks like on the screen recording and it's basically all the settings that we have right here so I'm gonna close this get back to the toggle tap on it and it gives me the sound quality or sound options right here uh, every time I tap on the record button so I can choose them every single time and also the show tops and touches which everything is set as I want to I'm gonna skip countdown and there we go so right now it's going to be recording obviously we have a couple options right here, so we have a pencil which allows you to draw on the screen. We have the selfie. We have pause and obviously stop as the last option. So now that I stopped the screen recording, it automatically gets saved to the gallery application. So I'm gonna open it up. You can see it right over here as the newest one. Or if you navigate to albums, you should have a screen recording album like this one, where you will find your all the screen recordings that have captured over the time. So there we go. Now if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.